Right then, so what we've got is two four core 185s. We're going to leave that rack there. No concern going in. Try and get a tie on that unit strut and then bend them down into that plate and they go to the bottom switch. So a long tail on them as well, about two meters, two meters, 200 or something like that. I've got from the top of the panel, from the gland plate, to the unistrut there is 540 mil. So I've got to bend two of them in that. As you can see, I've got the little chain block rigged up and I'm just gonna bend this cable against it now to try and form a bend. See how that goes. formed a little bit of a bend so now what I'm gonna to have to do is go up and ratchet that up a little bit more as it will go so I'm hoping that that bends enough they're gonna to have to come in in the orientation that they're in which is like that so they'll come in flat so they'll be of one there and one there because I can't go under, I can't let that one go over to there and then this one come underneath it because I want to have, there'll be less of a bend on the second one if I put it inside of it. So they're both going to have to come in next week to the, this isn't fun. This isn't fun. And the worst thing is, is I've got to get a two metre tail through them, through the glands. So that's a lot. That's a lot to move. Bollocks. I just took the mark there. But I don't know whether you can see, look at how tight that is. That is unbelievable. Even the FP cable, <laughs> that little red one there, even that looked tight. It was right up to the earth cable and then sweep, swept back down into the first gland, it's going to be a, a real wrestling match with this. Right, so since that one went in, well, since I got it, the gland on it, someone come and took the lift out, so I had to go and find another one of them, but I've managed, with a little bit of a hand, to get that in. I'm going to pull it down a little bit there, which will then straighten that up that way a little bit, but not a great deal because it doesn't really require it, but that is basically your limit. You're not getting much more on that, because it's 540 to the cable to the, from the cables to the gland plate, and that's a 63 mil outside diameter cable, so you times that by eight, that's about you, that's your, the limit of your, of your bend. So I'm just trying to get the other one to follow it now. Fingers crossed. There we go, that's the two of them in. We're going to try and figure out something for the to cleat them. Oh, under that now, terminations. There we go. So that's the earth in. I'm going to, have to connect that first <clears throat> in the back and then let them sweep down. I've got to take that cover off, get that sorted out. And uh, yeah, it's terminating to do new. Right, there we go, termination's almost done. I'm just going to cut this last one now, but if you can see, you've got your point 
at that side and then your thick edge your big edge on that side so what we're gonna do is cut across that in that fashion and what it does rounds the end off so rather than being triangular it rounds it off so you've got a chance of getting the lug on good tip eh There we go, even with one hand, managed it. So I'm just gonna push it back on now. Two hands, you can get it all the way on, and then I'll get it on the on the bolt. And then that's them done, just need to heat shrink the colors. Happy days.